Hey everybody, welcome back to Chef Grey Cat's Kitchen. I'm Chef Mike Grey Cat, and I want to show you what we're going to do today with an appetizer. It's going to be bacon wrapped asparagus. Now, as I've said in a video before, if you're going to have asparagus, they cannot be any thicker than a pencil um, because then they really don't have the flavor that you want. And for this appetizer, we're going to trim them down by half. Let me get the proper knife. There we go. So, the most tasty parts are in the top half of the asparagus. So, I'll cut it right here. Okay, I'll set those aside because they will end up going in the garbage. Now, here's what we need to do. I've got a couple of Oh, tablespoons of uh, grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. And we've got our bacon and black pepper. And if you like the black pepper mill, I got this at Ross for less for about, uh, oh, five bucks a few years ago. And it was filled with some ridiculous stuff. Anyway, I drained it out, gave it a good cleaning and turned it into a pepper mill. And this way uh, I very seldom run out of pepper. Alright, so I'm going to put a piece of wax paper over here because I don't want to be cleaning my board as much as I have been lately. I take a strip of bacon and I take a little bit of cheese. Just a little bit. This is going to give it a little snap to the flavor. You know, we're not piling it on. We're just putting a few pieces there. Then I take my pepper mill. Okay. Now, whoop, damn near knocked it off the table. Okay, now I take about uh, five. Five is a good average. Uh, pieces of asparagus and uh, I'm going to start to roll these and basically I'm rolling them at a small angle so that they will slowly envelop my asparagus okay now I'm going to push these down a bit. Now you can put a toothpick in them if you want. Um, you can pan fry them. You can uh, bake them at about uh, 325 degrees for about 15 minutes or so. But uh, however you cook them, um, just keep an eye on them. And so there's one. And serving suggestion, uh, I'll be honest with you, probably three, four for adults, one or two for children. But it's a good way to get them to eat their vegetables. And we're back with the black pepper here on this one. I'm only going to make four in this video. But uh, I'm just showing you how I do it. And uh, instead of just going haphazard with wrapping the bacon around the asparagus we're gonna we gave it a little flavor with that beautiful Parmesan Reggiano and uh, don't add salt the, uh, the Parmesan Reggiano has plenty of salt in it and you'll feel that or you'll know that flavor if you add salt it's gonna end up being too salty for you and you won't like it uh, this bacon, by the way, is a uh, a maple smoked bacon. Hickory smoked works good. Um, and make sure it's thin sliced. You don't want those big fat slices around this because then you're taking away from the flavor of the asparagus and you're burring it in bacon. Okay, there's two. We'll go for another one. Ah, uh, what the heck. There we go. A little 
פעם ראשונה לשיאנו. Well, like I said, you know, if you want, you pan fry them. Just keep a close eye on them. Pan fry them on medium. Uh, don't go any higher temp. Number one, it destroys your pans. Uh, the only thing that should be cooked on high is a uh, cast iron skillet for searing a steak or um, when you need to boil water, put your pan on high. But when it comes to cooking things, You'll find most of your manufactured directions say do not cook on high because you end up destroying the coatings for the nonstick pans and nobody wants that. Okay, so I got three of my four here for the night. This is going to be uh, my appetizer. I'm going to make four of them. I will uh, be back with another recipe which is going to be... Um, my quick Alfredo sauce. Uh, it's uh, it's good. And uh, since I've gotten over the chemo and I'm cured and feeling better, I'm gonna actually make uh, Alfredo without throwing up. Okay, be back in a few. But now you know how to make these. And uh, quick, simple, and the kids will love them because it has bacon. It's got a nice flavor to it, and it's super easy to do. Um, just enjoy the heck out of these. All right, glad you guys joined me, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.